Good morning. We have a nice start to our Monday. Mild conditions continuing right over from the weekend into the work week. When you're starting off your day at 31 degrees, you know you are doing okay in December. Our average high is 25 to 26 degrees around uh, this time of year, and we're at 31 to start. So, very warm weather continues. The camera's shaking just a little bit as we take a look outside along I-94. We are a little breezy. We're seeing winds that are steady in the teens here. We've got an 18 mile per hour speed out of the south southeast in Fargo, and that is making it feel like it. It's 19 degrees, so it's a little bit cooler feeling if you're caught out in the wind. But otherwise, mild conditions across the region today. We're looking at 34 in Fergus Falls. 34 in Crookston, over 9 and 31 in Grand Forks, 28 in Langdon, and over in the uh, Jamestown area, 26. We're also dealing with a few 20s off to the far east, 29 in Bemidji, and 28 in Wadena. I mentioned the wind. It's a little breezy, so the wind chill across the area is on the cool side. We're into the teens and some 20s, especially in the teens in eastern North Dakota. But again, we're starting off very mild. Even if it feels like temperatures in the teens, we are still doing okay uh, for us here in the valley. So not bad out there this morning to start out. Of course, you'll still want to wear your winter coat, but uh, you won't be shivering as much as you head out the door or send the kids out to the bus stop. We're looking at wind speeds that are ranging anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour for most places, but Fergus Falls up through Fargo and Grand Forks, we've got some winds that are into the teens and at times gusting into the 20s for today. And that's actually keeping our uh, fog from developing like we saw yesterday down in Lakes area. This area is looking much better because of that strong wind, keeping that atmosphere mixed and that air from settling and starting to uh, condense, that water vapor to condense into the form of fog. So that's good uh, in that regard. We're looking at some good visibility across the region here. We do have some cloud cover too. We're looking at clouds that are uh, more thick on the eastern side of our viewing area and down to the south, some clear skies around Fargo Moorhead. We should have partly cloudy conditions through the daytime hours today. And across the region, looking rather quiet, partly cloudy skies for us across the tri state area. So for today, we're looking at some clouds, some sunshine eventually, and again, that little bit of breeze for this morning with winds gusting into the 20s. Temperatures hovering right around that 30 degree mark over the next few hours. By 9 a.m., we'll see some sun, a few areas with clouds. Again, that's most likely over into Minnesota. And then around the noon hour, we're looking at some more above freezing temperatures, some more melting going on, especially in areas where we have some sunshine. Temperatures are going to rise into the mid to upper 30s and even get into the 40s in a lot of places, especially in eastern North Dakota. And I even think Fargo has a shot of seeing 40 degrees. Up to the north, where we've been very warm in northeastern North Dakota, I think we'll actually get close to that 50 degree mark once again. We hit 50 in Langdon yesterday. We have a good shot of it once again today. Not much is changing here in the forecast. Over to Minnesota, back into those mid to upper 30s. By later tonight, we'll see clear skies and wind still out of the south into the teens, and then a few clouds rolling in for later night hours. Now, tomorrow, we want to look at our forecast because we have our next chance for precipitation moving in. Temperatures will be once again be very mild. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies and look at the rain that starts to move in. It may be mixed a little bit. We'll have to keep an eye out for that with temperatures uh, around the freezing mark to start off in the morning hours. But then as it moves eastward during the daytime hours, we'll all climb above the freezing mark. So just some rain. Uh, and then eventually over into the late night hours. Hopefully we get that out of here before those temperatures dip once again below the uh, freezing mark. But something to keep an eye out for with some rain on the way for your Tuesday and perhaps a little bit of a mix depending on when this rain rolls through. 40 degrees the high today in Fargo. Tomorrow there's a good shot of seeing 40 once again in parts of the valley and we continue to be on the mild side through the rest of the forecast. We've got 42 for Wednesday. Now to round out the work week things change a bit. We'll still be on the mild side of things but we do have a better chance for some precipitation and that includes for Saturday. So temperatures kind of scaling back a little closer to the average to round out the week and we may have some fresh snow for next week and as well right after we get this snow melted and out of here. More on top of that. Thank you, Lisa. Well, the hustle and bustle of the holiday season may already have you off track on your fitness plan, but this morning we've got some advice that can help out. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is going to the experts on this Motivational Monday.